Um, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> this is really weird. I've got so much that's not quite right with this. Hang on a sec. I'm looking down because guess what? I had... Oh, and that's not going to work because... I the camera. I don't want you looking at your face like that. Oh my goodness. The camera's down there because what Facebook Live prefer is profile, not landscape. And I happen to be having to charge my phone. So I'm hoping that I'm not upside down because I have no idea. I'm doing this as a Facebook Live. <laughs> hi, Emma. Hi, Louise. Uh, this is usually the Tuesday's Intuitive Chat. I have, well, it is. I'm going to be taking a shorter time because I haven't got Leanne with me today, mainly because I'm still on the mobile. I'm using my iPad and it doesn't allow B.Live, it doesn't allow the Studio 2 to actually go live from a mobile device. Good morning, KB. And what that also means is, I can't bring up your comments on screen how we normally do, and I'm reading to the side, so my vision, my attention's being diverted to that way, which is probably the opposite in what you're seeing because this is a Facebook Live rather than a B Live Studio 2 um, session production. And I'm still trying to find where exactly is that camera. It's right down the bottom now purely because I have got it upside down. Oh, hi, Raywin. Now, usually the Tuesday morning chats, Tuesday's intuitive chat comes up as just a potluck subject that I absolutely love doing with Leanne, but I knew that I was probably still going to be mobile with a limited data and range. Basically, the internet is pretty iffy here. I am using Optus in Australia, which doesn't have as much coverage as uh, some of the other, pla uh, what do you call them, service providers. So it's just going with a wing and a prayer, hopefully, that this all works out properly. And I'm squint squashing down because I can't find anything high enough to bring the iPad up to a level where I'm actually looking level like that. But anyway, that's how it goes, doesn't it? Sometimes it rolls like that. One of the things that I was really concerned about, honestly, well, it is, I'm still concerned about it lately, is how much there is, uh, you know, there's so many issues around the world and so world and so many of them do seem to be very politically motivated and in that politicalness it's uh, profit motivated and the big corporations and things and how much profit is continually being created left right and center um, I just get that feeling that with governments we're just all being ripped off in one way or another we're being ripped off and what we are trying to do is just be one up better than someone else and then in the end what actually happens to those mega profits? What's actually done with them? Who owns them? It's our money that we're giving as that gap between what it costs, giving a living to somebody and the wages, you know, blah, 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 blah. And what is actually marked up even above that, that is the gross, uh, you know, the amazing large dollars that are being made by corporations that don't care about the individual person but just making that you know the, the dollar figure coming out at the end of the day it's, at times I'm frustrated I'm sad that it's got such a greedy world and that you know things are just happening so uh, sped up now to, to almost like a self-destruction in what's happening around and I sort of driving home trying to breathe deep thinking I've got to relax I've got to let this go it really is just to be living our own lives the best we can in what way we know how and improving those resources, improving, getting better understanding of what is actually needed 
in our own energy levels you know what we're gauging from our intuition from where we are um, using our heart centers and our soul and actually putting that out there is that you know oh, how do you do that love thing oh, i don't know like that you know doing doing the love spreading that out everywhere i do wonder at times how can we contribute as individuals to do that and it is uh, taking what you understand from all that you've got to being out there uh, in the best way possible interacting with people not machines creating the most honest way of living with each other that gives still a um, you know a, a livelihood to people that we can have a good standard of living but do we really need the best of everything do we really need overly excessive everything to be able to live really comfortable and happily because we don't need all the stuff and of course because it's coming into this christmas season we are in december now it's that gross pushing out of market you know the marketing stuff the marketing machine and retail and everything wanting to sell your stuff wanting to get you to buy this stuff wanting you to to want more why do you want more be happy with what you have i mean and i'm not, i'm totally not against retail but there's certain levels of things you just start to wonder i do anyway so hi john hi emma oh how are you um i'm just going to do a couple i can do a couple of readings purely because um i have got my cards in hand but i'm not going to do the air i just oh, i'm looking at the comments not at the camera again <laughs> Oh dear, I'll get used to this one day. It's it's the mobile fact. I just happened to have been away for a, a week and had a wonderful family weekend. So it was good. And uh, if you've got a specific question, Emma, that'd be good. Uh, I'm, it'll only be you first few that are going to be the potluck factor of having a reading. So, And hi, Vanessa, Natalie, um, Leanne and... Annette will probably be on for their live readings tonight and I know Leanne does Wednesday nights so that'd be another great time to um, like tune in same channel this my time tv dot live uh, I think Annette and Leanne got tonight it's around the 7 30 or 8 30 um, now I don't know if I can actually scroll oh I can I can scroll back there you go now, Vanessa, you've got one that's actually asking a question specifically. So I'll just clear the cards and do a quick shuffle. I like to do the threes purely because threes is my birth date. So um, what you've got is that card. Oh, it's got to be down there now, doesn't it? <laughs> because it's... Uh, and that's in reverse, isn't it? If someone could tell me how to actually change the camera or the view around that you see that card around you know where the 20 is actually right i'd love to know that i haven't found it yet um and i'm still busy reading this <laughs> reading so i uh, would love to know if we build a new home or move anytime soon thank you oh uh, well i'm feeling that that is enjoying uh, the surroundings that you're in now are you actually planning on moving Vanessa to were you planning on moving to somewhere that's actually got a lot of greenery that's actually in park parkland type areas it's got a lot of greenery around you so if that's where you're currently living I'm just getting the gist that that's probably where you're going to be staying and and not building the new home yet but if it's somewhere that you aren't now and are going to move that, that you're planning on or wanting to putting that desire out there to actually move to somewhere that's got uh, garden areas parklands something like that that that's what you will be doing um it's it's that sort of a choice i think really so probably what's the next card that goes with that oh it's a bit of a roll of the dice so um i'd say that it could be that at the moment it's a bit dicey so just Oh, uh, probably it, it could be in the the plans um, at some point yeah I wouldn't hold your breath right now but it's it certainly looks it could be that if you're not there yet and Natalie 
you need to actually be freeing up some a lot of your energy so that you're not concentrating on the negatives i'm feeling that it's see that rose that's there hopefully that shows up the rose is absolutely beautiful in this one it's fine details look at the fine details with um just the positives changing that perspective a bit but first of all you've got to actually use your own key it's you who's in control of this key you need to actually unlock and set free some of those feelings and emotions acknowledge that they're there but just set them free you, you don't have to hold on to them you can just say well i've experienced that i set you free okay hopefully that helps for the moment and hi kylie and leanne land um look if you're just asking for a reading just a general reading i I just don't have the, it basically it's the time and the data <laughs> the data a lot you know the internet connection if it drops out it just goes I don't know if it keeps on with uh, Facebook well, whoopsie someone there you go Kylie that jumped out so there is an older male there that's an older man so um, take that wisdom and guidance from the older man if you're looking for relationship it will be an older man that you're going to be connecting with even if it's just for friendship at the moment still it's not necessarily meaning a deep relationship, but certainly a wisdom and guidance and friendship with an older man. So I think that was with yours, Leanne, that one might have been. That's the comment that I'd seen. Um, I did yours, didn't I, Natalie? And John, what's your specific question? Love a reading in regards to whether me and my partner says be able to fall pregnant sometimes. So I'm actually getting a yes. You just need to, as far as pregnancy goes, i found many, many times with people, it's once they stop being so concerned with the, the trying, um, just enjoy your times together and have fun. Release the expectation and that need to actually fall pregnant. Just enjoy what your relationship is. Love each other deeply. Experience those nuances that are romance as well as, uh, you know, the, the spending time together. And sometimes it's those harder times that actually create that depth that will allow that release of expectation and the rest. So just explore the relationship in that way rather than f thinking that you've got to get pregnant, got to get pregnant every time that you... Um, get together as far as well making love sex you know what's the terms put your expression into it that's in deeper and meaningful ways rather than just oh i've got to get pregnant i'm oh, hoping you understand what i mean with that one i do feel there will be success with that very soon i don't give dates that's not my role it's it, i am sensing there is going to be that one that result however leanne i'm just seeing yours leanne greening this one is uh made a right choice i'm getting a yes with the love life oh there's that card has come up for you as well so um beautiful exp and and just the meaning in behind that one is it's more like that gazebo of you're looking at those beautiful flowers there well i'm looking at those beautiful flowers there and it, it seems to me like it's going to be a more more um longer term depth to it uh, it's almost like you know how you have those arboriums or places where you get married and the rest where it's it's got those beautiful settings to me it's that even if it's not the commitment to being a wedding or something like that yet it's just got the possibilities live as if it's the possibility and have that type of relationship that is committed to that level and I think um, you know the right choice feel it at your heart level is it the right choice for you it's only you that can decide that okay and oh sorry about my fat hand <laughs> i don't have any automatic duva thing for this one and uh louise i think did i do one for you or was that for someone else regarding a i don't know how long this goes back no that was vanessa's so i'll do a quick one for you louise because you've been on many times you know on before you were regular and i like to see the beautiful names here that i recognize it's great um and they're all oh, cross to bear i don't feel that you probably will be in the near future there's some things that you need to be dealing with louise so only you that you would know what they are so that is the cross so whether you have a religious context that that means something for you or it's just things that you're finding just way too heavy 
that you feel like the pressure is on all the time. I'm feeling that heaviness on the back of the neck, the shoulders, you know, as if you are carrying that cross. So it's up to you to actually look at it and uh, learn from those things, let them go, the ones that are needing to be let go, because we don't need to carry that all the time. It's not our responsibility, it's whoever owns it, not you. Um, oops, tomorrow I'll just flick through to yours. And there we have, um, that one is the tree, and that's depth of ancestry. And moving into the sea, as, as you can see, that is the Kabbalah tree of life icon uh, well i'm supposing it's called icon some of these things i don't remember off the top of my head i've seen it many times i know that it's very significant in jewish faith uh, i also know it's got a depth of meaning in each of those circles interconnecting in that i don't remember how but if you're interested in looking into more depth of your ancestry and what's being brought forward for you into your life now um, it can be a very interesting exercise and quite a practical one too to f to actually find out, wow, I didn't know that would happen in the family. And amazing what sort of things that we think are uh, shocking now, how often those sorts of things happen way back and over many eras of living. Uh, we're not the first ones who uh, discover things, honestly, in, in new and different ways and in plain what is natural to us. So, you know, the witches will burn at the stake for just what was natural herbalism and healing craft. You know, so um, just discover and look into that that is where you're wanting to actually put your roots, you know, search into the roots. So have fun with that. And hi, Kathy, how are you? <laughs> Good friend, Kathy. Yay, love you to bits. I'm um, looking at the camera now. <laughs> I figured out that, yeah, it's there. So, oh, dearie me. Now, I'm going to have to leave it at that soon because I don't know how long I've been on and I don't want it to run out. I really don't want it to run out. Um, finding Christmas very hard without my late husband, darling. Yes. Uh, right now, I just haven't got the space time tuning in for the for the mediumship stuff sometimes i need to actually do spend some time with that and that's more suitable for doing the booking me for a session which i do have that in my links on my ros bounty page uh, that that's the area leanne is so talented if you really want to see if you've got a message from him tune into leanne and annette tonight or tomorrow night it's just leanne solo so um, I'll do one more and, oh, hi, Lily. So many magical transformations underway. Yes, there is. And if we, and Lise coming up for review, wow, you've got some decisions to make, huh? Uh, and hey, just go with that intuition, tune into whether whether a, a lease coming up for review is that one your lease that you're needing to decide whether you'll stay or whether you'll have a tenant renew, you know, allow them to renew their lease. Ah, big hugs to you, Kathy. Um, I'm feeling it is more that you're deciding whether you want to stay somewhere. So feel into that heart centre. Okay, thanks, Kylie, for that timing. I do need to leave it there. So look, when I'm back at my my home base is going to be Port Elliot, but at the moment, you know, sorting stuff out, that is where I have unlimited data and etc. So I can spend more time doing readings next Tuesday. So thank you very much for those of you who have been watching live, those who come on repeat, uh, repeat, no replay. <coughs> oh, excuse me for the cough. And uh, I am available for bookings, even though I'm mobile. I do have that set up that I can accept bookings and do uh, the PayPal or whatever method suits and continue on with servicing, serving you with what you might need in the way of readings or, um, you know, even hypnotherapy. I have quite a few things that I do, but I love doing this and it is quick and easy to hit, hit that book now button and uh, that's where you can get more individualised and detailed readings for yourself. It's lovely doing this. I love doing it and I'll continue onward with it for next week, for tomorrow morning, for the daily one that I do. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Oh my throat. I'm just wanting to read that one, Lily, but it's not letting me hit the see more button. Bummer. Um, I'll respond to these afterwards rather than the live stream. Live streaming takes a lot of data. At least with just doing the commenting, it's not quite so severe on that, that data bank, so to speak. So thank you for watching again and be the best person that you can be. And I'll see you either tomorrow morning for my daily, which is about 8 o'clock, but that's on my Ros Boundy page, or next week on the MyTimeTV.live, doing Tuesdays and Children Chat with Leanne and Ros on the Be Live Studio, which has a lot more versatility around it. I, I understand that. I know how to use it. This is a little bit more, hmm, not quite sure, but thank you for watching. See you then. Bye.